Hey, this is nice guy with another Steam controller config. Uh, this is for Borderlands 1 or Borderlands GOTY game of the year. I couldn't find anyone any configs that I like, so I started making my own, and I think I've gotten to a place where I like it. And here's me just sharing it with you guys. See if you guys want to use it. It is a left left pad move and right pad mouse. On the left pad, we have WADS with a left shift click. It is eight way overlap, of course. And this is a left shift click. So when you click it, you run. And then when you let go, uh, the game continuously runs, but uh, you can stop it by letting go and then continuing on. Uh, it also has a left grip single button. So if you hit the left grip, it'll do a um, it'll change to a menu, and we'll we'll do that later. Uh, I don't want to do the uh, layers until I finish talking about the default. Uh, the stick is a up uh, keyboard up, down, left, right, and yeah, no click or anything. We got on the buttons. Oh, there we go. On the buttons, I changed the. The X to the top and the Y to the side because it just felt better. That's for me. You, can change, you guys can change it back if you don't feel it, if you guys feel like it's not up to your speed. Uh, B and A are in the same same place. We ha and uh, of course no, there's no uh, double clicks or anything there. Uh, we have on the mouse just the mouse. Uh, oh wait, actually we do have a right pad click here and that also does does the buttons. So we have an X Y B and V. There, if you so inclined to not want to hit the the physical buttons, you can just hit the right pad. And uh, yeah. All right, and let's just go from there. The escape. It it's escape, but it also changes to menu. And it, the menu. If you guys don't know what the menu is, it's this one right here. It'll change to that one. Uh, the back grip, right grip is jump. The uh, right, right bumper is a uh, right bumper, normal as a controller. On the uh, right trigger, we have a. Uh, well, we, this one doesn't really matter too much because it just changes, changes to a uh, action layer called gyro aim, and I'll show that in a bit. As well, this one is just a changing of another layer as well. We'll sh show that later. Uh, this is for the skill and is just the normal one for the controller, the left bump. And then the back grip button is, uh, it, ch it, how do I say this? Uh, it is a connector. It's connected to the the left pad so it can do other buttons and we'll show that later as well and the, uh, the button right there is a status menu tab all right so I guess we'll go to the gyro aim first so the gyro aim for this right here when you're when you're soft pressing the right trigger you're gonna activate the gyro aim, which then goes over here, and it only changes. Everything's the same except for it changes these buttons here, which is the uh, left mouse when full pull, and right mouse when soft pull. So basically, you're aiming, and you click, and it is a hip fire. And let me demonstrate that right now. All right, so say you're, you see an enemy, la di la, and then you also you still have gyro as well. You have a different gyro um, sensitivity, which I didn't ex I didn't say, but we'll you know, we'll show you. So right now I have soft pull down, scoping in, and you can just hit the full pull, and it still stays scoped in. So that's what the hip fire does. You can also 
Ooh. Switch weapons. You can also do, you know, scope in and do the same thing. Or, if you hit the button fast enough to go to a full trigger press, it will... It will ignore the scope. So if you do it fast enough, it'll just go like that. Oh, shit. So see, I could scope in, or I can hit fire. There you go. I didn't expect them to come, but hey, nice little demonstration. That was uh, the start button just pressed, which also makes me to the menu, which uh, I'll, I'll explain that later as well. Don't want to hit you with too much information all at once. Uh, so yeah, that's what it does there. Um, no, I don't think it changes the gyro. Oh, it did. I lowered down the sensitivity of the gyro when you hit uh, the... Start hitting the trigger there. That way, because when you have the default here, uh, you want a little bit more. At least I did want more sensitivity on there when I'm just in the game looking around and picking up stuff. So yes, the uh, on the default, it also has gyro always on and the sensitivity is normal but when you are hitting the trigger to aim and so I'd go over here a sensitivity is not lower that way you can actually aim at long distances uh, next one up is the left uh, left uh, trigger button here which uh, changes to a weapons layer and that is right here uh, now this one is a swipe button, so if I hold, uh, let me just make, make sure, this is a full press, right? No, just soft, soft press, but it'll work on a full press as well. Um, sorry about that. It'll make these, it'll make the left, left pad, uh, the right pad, it'll make the right pad uh, into a swipe a directional swipe so it'll change your weapons uh, this way so you one two you can change these however you want you know if you want your first weapon second weapon third weapon or fourth weapon however you guys want it I just kind of understand it like this better one two three four yeah and that's what that one does uh, demonstration so holding down the you soft, you know, left trigger, swipe up. Oh, oh, I'm still in the menu. Okay, swipe up, change, change, change. Once again, up, left, right, and down. So if I'm fighting or something, I can still go. And that's just how I felt like it was the best best way to switch instead of having to click I know I got you got the button in there on the uh, on the right pad where you can just click 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 of course but if you want to be more like hey I need that I need that shotgun down or where was my shotgun to the right so there's my shotgun to the right sniper to the going to the top and then I have my SMGs right here I've been really liking the SMGs I just have two of them Boom, sniper. And that's basically what it is. Alright, so that's the two layers here for the default. And now, for the things that changed to the menu was escape here. Um, and the back grip. Was it the back grip? No, no. Uh, I changed it to... Yeah. Is basically if I click, once it clicks here on the left pad while the left clip, so you're gonna left grip and then hit the track, uh, the left track pad, and that's gonna initiate the uh, change to a menu. So what's in the menu? Uh, it's a lot of different things that are changed here. Um, basically, you kind of want it like auto as a, I guess like an Xbox controller. You know, everything kind of being the same here. 
iCloud start, all that start. And let's see. So this one, uh, directional up, down, left, right. But also, once you've hit the left grip here, it's going to say you want the map, the skill, uh, skill, the logs for the quest and all that, and the items. And then, of course, you have uh, up, down, left, right. And you also have the scroll wheel here. Well, let me let me demonstrate the uh, the the menu uh, left pad. Sorry for my stuttering there. Okay, we're in the menu. Uh, out of the menu now. So left grip, and I'm gonna go pad top. That's gonna go get us to the map. And then we can also do left grip, uh, left pad click. It's gonna get us an inventory. Left pad down. Mission log, left pad, right click. Oh, that got us out for some reason. Oh, because it, it thought I double clicked or something. Of course, it'll get you out. And of course, you're still in the men, uh, menu mode. So what you do is hit B and you're out. Oh, it's a really, it's, I, I, I kept trying different ways of doing this. Each one worked, but this way just seemed the most fluid and quick way of doing it without messing up too often. I don't know what this this does happen <laughs> where it just constantly goes down now for some reason there's a bug where the this will just constantly go down I'm not sure what the bug is uh, when I figure out I'll just make an update yeah and then you go to the you go to the map and you can hit B to get out of it uh, basically any all of this and go back to the game but also the B uh, takes you back to the original uh, profile on your so you can play the game um, there's also if you hold down right pad you can make this into a like a scroll wheel so you can just manually do that and you can also double click and it'll change it and if you're if you're in close uh, you should be able to move oh you move when you click into the right pad if you so choose to do so I made it a click uh, you don't have to have it a click you could change that so it's not a click and of course if you hold it down it's a scroll wheel with the stick up and down let me show you that so right here, this is a stick. If you hold down the right pad click, it'll just do mouse wheel up and down. That's what you were seeing in the in the map. Ah, where is it? There you are. Uh, for the buttons, uh, same loud X, Y, A. And then we have a Regular press is an X, double is a space, in case, as in case I needed to drop anything. In case you're in the items, in case you're in the items and you needed to uh, drop an item, so you can, you can just uh, double click, and it'll drop it. Thank you. And then, If I could get to it. Oh, this is just a B, and it'll change back to um, it'll change uh, change back to the default. Uh, the default. When I say default, it'll change back to this. Uh, left pad, A button down, click when you hit that. I think it was a double click, right? Yeah, double double press, like in the map, it'll um, 
zoom you in or zoom you out. It's basically, yeah, zoom in, double click. And I believe we are all set. Trying to look, no, that's it, because there aren't, there are no action layers on the menu. Default has two action layers. All right, that's the that's the Borderlands uh, one I've done so far. I don't know what other changes I'll play. Uh, I'll do as I continue playing. It's on version uh, 0.8, so it's not not final final, but I am happy with it enough to say, hey, uh, I'm gonna put this out, and hopefully uh, some people will not have to. Like I'm I'm surprised there's not one that I liked. I tried a couple that were on there, and I just it, nobody had made one that I liked, so this is why I'm doing this. And so, so a little bit of the game. If you if you just want to try it out and you're done, uh, just just uh, try it out. And I'm just gonna do some gameplay here to show you how it moves. So we have gyro in game, and uh, I'm moving around with the with the right pad, but also I can move with the controller. Uh, doing anything that way that way if I need to just look down quickly I can just do this and back up you know it's a it's a bit of a helper it's it's annoying at first but you do you do need it and so it's just really it's just really helpful at first I didn't think I need gyro but yeah I did then we have the X on the right pad Or if I want, if there's certain areas like this, I can just hit the button really quick. Boop, boop. And that's this is why gyro always on is kind of nice, because then if I switch to the buttons for some some reason, and there's a lot of items on, on top, and I don't want to have to click the pad, because the button just feels better, I'll just do that. And then uh, left, left pad down lets me run, but I also don't have to have it pressed down. Because it'll just continuously run. Oh, I thought those little critters there. And then we can check the map really quick by gripping the left grip and the top left pad to get into the maps. The select button will also get you into the menu, but it'll give you gyro. So that's the main idea of. Well, I guess I could turn, I could make it so the select, select also has, uh, also takes you to the menu, right? Yeah, I guess I could do that. It'd be like this one, so regular press, regular press. Regular press. Oh, it's a uh, apply action set. Menu. And see, there's always little changes that I can I can make. So now when I hit tab, it'll go over here, and I can just hit the B button to get me back to default. And I'm gonna save this. It's not a big change, so I won't put a 0.9. All right, and now we have the menu. And really, the the main reason you want to hit go to the menu area is because you want to hit left bumper and right bumper. Yeah. Okay. Um. I can't really show you here, but oh, never mind. Change weapons. I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Not. Okay. I 
guess that's it. Honestly, give it a try if you're giving Borderlands uh, one another playthrough with the controller. And yeah, hopefully it, it can help you not have to do everything that I did and save you some time. Have a good one. This is Nice Guy, and I'm out. Have a nice day.